Hello, my name is Vahid Taslimi and today I'm going to show you the reports which are available in the Site and Pages category of Nintex Analytics 2010. Okay, let's get started by looking at our first report, which is Sites by Activity. Now, time to time you want to know which are the most active sites across your farm or in a specific site collection. Now, this report is there to answer. As you notice here I'm seeing okay there's a lot of activity going on in my billing side and next to it is my Seattle and Melbourne side well I can uh, change the parameter I've got different parameters which I can modify here you can exclude activities on the file types which you flagged as image or system file types in the central admin you can exclude deleted webs or you can say just show me the source which have been activity don't show me the source without any activity which uh, in this case we must be having some yeah if you see we've got some source without any activity if I check this one and run the same reports I won't be getting those sites yeah those are hidden now um, well you can specify the date you know I want to know the active most active stars within this date period and you can specify the start date and end date here the other thing you can do is that you can specify the style uh, the scope or oh, well this is scope parameter is pretty much a standard parameter you get in most of our reports you can say I want to know um, active stars in this web app not in this web I want to know active stars in this site collection you can say okay and click on run it's gonna generate the reports and show the active side in the site collection well as I told you this scope parameter is pretty much a standard parameter now in this uh, site collection I just had one site but that's all right that's all right my well it doesn't end here now I know this site it's been pretty active now the next question is that what are the activities that happening in this side during that period okay just can get the answer by simply clicking on the uh, report it's going to take you to the side activity details report which is going to list all the activities which is happening in the side you know it gives you the date the user who's done it you know in this case this user what kind of activity is done a schema change on this list and this is the item pretty handy report next report which is a very popular report is the most popular pages this one as it says least least most popular SPX pages across your site again you can specify the site uh, scope that you want to look at but one thing you have to notice here that by default this report when we say popular it includes all activities on the report it's not just the view it's view checking checkout delete move any, literally any activity which has happened on the page we take it into consideration in short here but you can change it if you're interested just in view you can simply go to design mode and change the parameter and say I'm just interested to look at the number of times this document has been viewed quite handy um, next one sites by document growth okay uh, this one again you've got a side scope parameter it, within the selected scope it tells you the percentage growth of the of each size compared to the last month you know you get two information here you get documents number of document currently which are currently in the side and number of documents which we were in the side last month and calculates the per percentage growth if you notice in this case therefore we used to have 328 document last month this month we've got 649 and um, sorry I just shouldn't have clicked it that's another cool feature of the application most of the content that you've got if you click them they're actually linked so you don't have to go and search for them to find them if there's a document or sorry just click on them it takes you there well going back to report whereas my side I just had 28 last month this month 28 and seems there hasn't been any activity in the side and zero percentage growth okay next one size by document size now 
you want to know the amount of this space uh, occupied by documents within each site. This is the report to answer that question. Um, well, again, you've got a scope parameter. We've got set up from exclude deleted web, exclude deleted files. You can play with them and it tells you that number of documents in this side is 872 and total size is 13.1 megabyte. And this is just a report. The next report, which is available, is, which is a trending report, is size created per month. I'm sure that's a question that comes up to any SharePoint administrator of uh, that number of size created per month or the various rates to figure that out. But um, I guess this is the easiest way. You just open the report and you want to know from this day to this date how many sites we have created within this site scope. Well, seems we've had a pretty quiet start and in December picked up. Um, went down in Jan and again in February picked up or and the last one in this category we're going to look at is total activity per month or basically this, this you can go and change the scope and let's say you just want to know total activity in uh, this web application or this site collection or just this site you can easily change it and run the report you can change the start date end date and again you can tell the system I'm not interested on the activities on the files on the documents which are flagged as image files or image documents. Neither am I interested in the activities done on the files which are flagged them as system files. Uh, if you if you want to know more about this thing, check out the video, another video training available on my blog, which talks about you know flagging certain file types as system file or image file well this wraps up um, uh, a quick look at the reports which are available out of the box in sites and pages category in Intex Analytics 2010 uh, thanks for watching and talk to you soon